damage is coming from, you know? Well, no, so, like, it's interesting because I built this off of just the cards I had, and I think, depending if you use the Kazuchi-mon, I think that's a good way to catch up. Yeah, Kazuchi, Serafi, it's, I, by the design of Serafi giving it a natural plus one to your security attack, I think it's like, okay, they're not, they're not, they're really trying to make yellow, like, what I think I was discussing this with our friend group, uh, more like life manipulation rather than just recover endlessly until your opponent just decks themselves out. No, it is true. Yellow hasn't been this fun in a long time. Um, I think this yeah. deck is very fun. I think it's going to be very disgusting because I, I, they're both. I'm pretty sure they're both playing vaccine, so it's going to be the second well, near match of the night, which is gross. Yeah, like I know vaccine has many different variations but i feel like a lot of times the core engine just ends up being like really similar or the same it's oh no this is, of oh i see it's vaccine control so it's security control yeah okay. yes so there's and vaccine this... control vaccine aggro vaccine angel beads vaccine the vaccine has such like a diverse oh this is disgusting uh, archetype oh no is this cool. shine vaccine this is shine you have to change that thumbnail art yeah, shine, great. I mean, it's really easy to do it. So, yes, Vaccine is an engine, and it can have, like, many different deck variations because Padamon is just... Oh, wait, I got a question. Is good. this considered yes. Vaccine, or is it just Shine Greymon? Um, the In Japan, the title, I think, has been going around as Sh Vaccine Shine Greymon because... Everything in the Shine Greymon line is a vaccine. Yes, yes, because all the Agumons are vaccines, right? Yes, the Agumons are vaccines, well, the, the Geo Greys are vaccines, the Rise Greymons are vaccines, the Shine Greymons are vaccine. Ironically, a uh, Rude Mode is a vaccine. Yeah, this is definitely the Shine Greymon one. Okay, okay, yeah, it's absolutely that. Yes. Okay, so he put him yes. to two. Oh, so this so is pretty... vaccine control can either be like angel control or more traditional set card with Angemons. Uh, so there's even like variations of vaccine control. So it's very interesting to see like what people can do with the engine. Um, the thing is, I know our, our friend Pete has been experimenting vaccine control in many different variations. I just sometimes don't know which variation he's using. Yeah? Well, he must have drew really bad because he just evolved into, uh, what is it, Pillowmon? Pillowmon, yeah. Oh, he, did he survive too? Because Pillow's... No, Pillow's three. That's right. Sorry, Pillow's two. Yeah, Pillow is 2K. I really and, think... Um, um, I think part of what makes Yellow so powerful this set is that I think they have the best... The best Floodgate combination. Right? They have yes. Pillow that stops from attacking and then... Yep. Um, oh. Oh, so he passed. It I don't know... If I don't know if TK reveals. Yes. Oh no no. TK, when you pull the top card, you don't. Reveal. No no, you don't. You reveal have it. to reveal the card that you have to put something back. In. Yeah, and then it gives him one memory. Yep. Which when I was looking um, at videos, when I was looking at videos for this deck, I saw like a lot of people in Japan not doing it, and I thought it was very weird. I was like, why are they revealing it? I could definitely put an option card in here. I have to. Uh, I have to read. Oh no, I think TK specifically says vaccine Digimon. Well, that's what I'm saying. You have to reveal it, right? Because like, what's a, if you don't yeah. have to reveal it, what stop you from putting an option card and then having Patamon? I mean, yeah, it? yeah. That's why that phrase is there. Like yeah, that. Yeah. Why? That's why that phrase Psychon. is there. Psychon. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely doing like some sort of security control stuff. Removing this. Yeah, card. this is this is probably the more like in terms of like the 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 spectrum. This is more close to the Secon using the vaccine engine. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, it's cool, but. I, I think you should have just gotten rid of... If you were going to do all this, you just get rid of the Megas and just play Ultimates and then have everything else as options. I mean, here's the thing, right? I mean, we all know Satcon at the end of the day. They don't really do X, Y, Z a lot. They mainly just hope that you run into a security option. Yeah, no, that's like, what I'm saying. That's like, basically it. The one thing about it, if you're playing this full, you know, vaccine control, that's... Uh, what three to four Angemons, four Patamons. He's playing Pillowmon. He's probably playing Salamon. That's another one, right? Like, yeah, this whole deck just seems like a little bit out of it. And if he's playing a lot of Megas, I don't like that either. Because then, 
he has to save room. If he's trying to do this vaccine stuff, I don't even know what card that is. Is that Murray? That's Murray. That's, Mar- that's Murray, yeah. Murray's it's Murray. Three? Okay. I will always so, love that Murray. Murray is, has been... You know what's... It's so strange. Even though she's intended for, like, Bastibod, she's actually just still, like, a generically good tamer because she's one of the few tamers that just, just says, start a turn, gain one memory. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. No requirements, no frills or fuss, no additional hoo ha, what's it? Just literally exists, gain a memory. This Greymon gives a memory, doesn't he? Gains a memory when there's a tamer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the he's field. doing oh. Magna Angie. Okay. This I don't. Is... I don't know how I feel about this, uh, but uh, some, some damage has got to happen, right? Unless he has. No rise gray at all. Oh, and what am I doing? Why am I ultimate? doing? Why am I doing? He should only cost one, and then he gets the memory back. Never mind, I'm dumb. So he's still at yeah. Oh, he's yeah. at five. Never mind. Did Murray put him at five? I see he has so much memory. TK. TK um, actually, I don't know where Murray set him. Okay. To be honest, it's but gonna... anyways, we're at a shine gray. Shine gray is um, a four. Unfortunately, a hefty four. No Marcus. No Marcus to do the things with. Go to burst mode. He's trying to chip damage early. I respect it. There's no purple on board. There is a purple. Murray. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. She's a duel. That's why she's really good. Okay, yeah, Marcus. Wins. I just don't know about that Magna Ace. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, he might. That might have been the only one. ultimate he had. Long. Oh, oh, Trash is it. That's right. Holy yes, Waves. And... Right, whatever. It okay, is what it okay. is. Oh, yeah. so he's playing Holy Wait. So let's see, like, let's let's do some ratios on this, right? Why is that TK yeah. not actually suspended? It's very weird how it's done. Um, I oh, think, is it all uh, purple in there? Is it all purple in there? Because that's going to be disgusting. It can't be all purple in there. Okay. Oh, oh that's what is, oh, actually that's so that he can, bad. That's so he can play, um, that's so he can play Red Crimson option. Blaze, right? Crimson Blaze. Yes, Crimson yeah. Blaze. Crimson Blaze is going to be a very relevant card in the Nationals meta. That's a little bit future. But um, I think our friend Did You Watch here is suspending his attainers that way because he's been on the simulator a lot. Ah. That's so ugly. That's so I mean, disgusting. I mean, it's so let disgusting. People do, let people do what they do, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just. Oh, he's I two, just he's don't like... know about this early burst mode, but it seemed to be okay. Yeah, because I, you only have three burst modes in your deck at max, so that means that's three less burn. That's one less free burn you have. So okay, that Murray put him to four. Um, yep. Salomon, just swing into the Shine Greymon, get the recovery. Don't do that extra stuff. Yeah, like now this is where I think Pete can make a small comeback because his recovery is now active. Oh, he has Murray on the field, so all his purple options are live. Uh, we saw that he picked up uh, Ty and Kari, so that means his red option is going to be live too if he plays any, uh, like Crimson Blaze, for example. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna you vote Sala or just play an option? Why he just? Because I know he plays Godomon. There's okay. a purple Kyrie, okay. Kyrie. Very good. Uh, Alright, I don't really understand that. And then Chaos the Great. Chaos the Great. Oh, is he just trying to draw? Is that what the egg does? Oh, he's gonna trigger Ace. And now that that Chaos the Great is gonna put uh Did you watch at four instead of eight, which yeah, is but why not did... a bad trade off, huh? No, but why didn't he swing? He could have just gotten the recovery off of that. Unless he's expecting to get to die from, like, whatever Pat is going to turn into. But what? then that doesn't make any sense anyway. Like, that's... You're just leaving a guy on board? Like... All right, I, I mean, guess. if it dies... I mean, think about it like this. Shine Gray has DP reduction b- Bazanga, so that means it's probably going to die randomly, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um. So now this is the interesting part that... that that the security control Pete let me know that apparently this start a turn carries over Mm -hmm. after the Patamon evolves. That was crazy when he did it to me. Yeah. So Patamon, I think next to Gomamon is one of the strongest SR rookies we got. Uh, Gomamon and Patamon are definitely some of the strong. That Agumon is also very strong too. Agumon is pretty strong. Yes. Um, I don't know if it can rival uh, Pada and Goma that well, but it's still a good SR. Well, I think the weakest. I mean, Luca's weird. I think it's just, he's just too specific, so I can't really compare. But in terms of like generic value, um, 
Pata and Goma are definitely into Chicago. Well, yes. generic, yeah, but like in their own rights, like Patamon still Luga, needs a car, yeah. Luga still needs a tamer, Goma's the only one that doesn't need anything. Yeah, you know? no, Goma just does his thing just by existing, which yeah. is why like it's really good. That blue egg may need to get banned, honestly. That blue egg is very yeah. strong. That jamming egg? Yeah, it's very good if your opponent doesn't have two stacks or like doesn't have a stack established and um you could easily like you know dish it away so now the jamming's active um interesting so, interesting interesting okay well definitely the vaccine engine is proving its merits because oh, what we're seeing right disgusting. what we're seeing right here is that um the memory gain was very good able to go into this ultimate still keep churn and even at one memory we still have a uh, physical training still available so that shine gray is coming down for two however i don't know if he's gonna get enough memory why does he in just... any way no if he just swings with the markets isn't that he isn't he free this is weird he passes okay. it's for one oh it is for one so yeah, it was a shine gray mod right so he's at zero sorry i haven't been changing the life yeah okay. yeah it's gonna Melted be at zero recover. unless he wants to do a burst mode evo um, right? No, I think I would swim with the Marcus and use the Marcus to Evo the Agumon. Oh, that, yeah, oh yeah, he should. He probably would want to maintain that extra check from the Shine Gray. Yeah, so everything in there is minus 9. I don't know yeah. if that really matters too much. No, it, it pretty much depends on options. So I actually saw, like, uh, Salad die to Shine, to shine yeah, Gray yeah, himself. Shine. So I think, that's why, I think that's why Pete probably left it. Is because it's probably gonna die randomly to something. Yeah, but if he was planning on that, I would at least hit security or something like that. But I guess he was worried about hitting a Marcus. Oh, that's did yeah, it. that's minus, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then swing two checks. Lament. And... Lament brings back any Digimon from the trash to hand. Oh, such as Digimon. a Magna Ace. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah. It's just it's you know how callings one. Yeah, yeah, that's three, and it so, gets everything. Yeah, right? it's three, and it's anything. So, calling is one, but only purple. And you have to delete something, of course, if there's something on board. Um, lament is just bring back anything you want. All right, well, he's going to be at two security right now, so this puts him at a bad spot. Because if he blows up that that Greymon, that Shine Greymon, uh, that Greymon could probably just end the game. The one that's sitting there, the champion. So, is he just going to do... Okay. He's, yeah, he's going to do Magna Ace. For four. Minus okay. 3k... Probably the Geo Gray, because there's no way in hell he's touching that Shine Gray. Yeah, he may just. But this might be a bad one because if he doesn't get rid of the Shine Gray, yeah. Okay, so oh, he's gonna walk. oh they, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. So we're just gonna. Oh, he's oh he's lunking the Geo Gray. Doesn't matter. And zapping dead. the Shine Gray. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens. But yeah, no, that was powerful. The, again. The power of the ace cards are now shining because that low play cost was uh, gave him the ability to do that. Too. Yeah. Now this is going to be a really awkward spot because the Magna Angemon, if it if he swings and it dies, whatever. If he brings up his guy, it might the game might be over just from that. Because once be, that yeah. Magna gets, uh, what is it? Uh, level fives are minus three, and level sixes are minus four. Four. Okay. I don't think we don't have our ace makers yet, but yeah. So Magna Ace is definitely an open duck right now, giving away three potential me three memory for free. Um, but however, it really does depend on what our Shine Gray player is going to do, because no extra Marcuses. I would just two shines lethal. already, so would... there's only two left in the deck. But he doesn't need Shine, right? Like he could just use other Megas, or is he just playing the three Shines? Because that's also nuts too. Well, again, right? It depends. Okay. Oh, we're just dropping the ultimate. Okay. And okay. also, he only has one of the markers you want to see, right? Oh, oh I don't like three. this. I do not like this. I this do not is, like this. This is a weird... This is a weird decision making. Unless he just wants to do that. Oh, to keep his fine. turn. Okay, I see. But yeah. I don't like this anyway. Like, That's your third shine, right? That's number three. Yeah. Okay, he's just going to do ruin. Okay. okay, I don't like this at all either. What is going on? Um, well, it doesn't gonna, stop any odd plays because the Magnus are 8Ks and 6Ks, so mm -hmm. it won't stop their odd plays. 
I mean, unless he really, unless he's really stopping random rookie searches, which doesn't exist in SecCon, which is very odd. Um, honestly, Pete might just get away with just getting rid of that rune mode in a yeah, no any way possible. To. Yeah, I just oh, we're just gonna recover oh, one regular Magnum, okay? Regular Magnum, recover All one. Right. That's I'm, not bad. I am thinking. Okay. So this is really odd because now we saw sh three shine grays used up already. One burst mode used up already. We now see a rune mode, which can't. I don't think it's gonna. It's not really gonna do much, right? It'll kill the magna, I guess. I mean, that's message or hope. So okay. this is go this is four. where this is where the le the the lonky hurt. Yeah, it's gonna move. Oh, God, I'm not moving the memory counter because this match is moving so fast. <laughs> Alright, so he's at two. Yep, since he has TK, he's gonna recover one, which would trigger TK, making that option essentially free. However, if you look at Shine's Grey's deck, it is getting a little low. Yeah, he got through his deck very quickly, and if he doesn't close it out, um, oh, I see, it looks like he drew the, the Geo Greymon. Yeah, so. No, no, that Ag of... Agu is drawing him cards, like, things are drawing him cards. Yeah, no, he needs to close out very soon. Even though four life is not hard to chip down, it's if it hits any like it option, it's pretty much lights out. Huh? Yeah, okay, swing, get the five. Well, at least end the attack. Okay, it lives, so that means he's going to do the end the attack, which is minus five to just. Uh, oh yeah, no, these are separate minus fives. Oh, wait, is he going to delete the Magna? No, he can, he can. The Magna's six, so when he swings with the Marcus, that's going to be the final one for... Uh... No, 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 no. Rune mode is, end of attack, delete the Digimon, delete one of your opponent's Digimon, recover one, and then if you have a Tamer, hatch. No, I thought it's so 5,000 the, the Magna should not. Magna should not be on board right now. Yep. Right, Rune mode has, like, four effects. It's a level seven. It should, right? Yeah, and the secret. Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. It's got to be worth it. So, we're now in a really strange pickle. We're on our last egg. Three Megas used up, as in level sixes. He needs another Mega. Or does he just have a level five? If he doesn't have a level five, I don't see a reason in him not re swinging with the Geo Greymon and the Marcus. Just go, right? Just yeah, go swing. That's what I would do. Does he go, go five, okay, go into that. Play five, another, play another team. Marcus. Yeah, play Marcus. I'll play that, that Marcus. Yeah, that's a good Marcus to play, too. Yep. Okay, let's see what he hits. Salah. Nothing. Garbage. This is good. We're going to swing with Rise. Yeah, I don't see a reason to not what swing do we with hit to? Long key. Long key. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Zap the Digimon. Yep. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. Because Patamon... I mean, I guess it does because that's a Patamon there. Honestly, I would just play an Agumon. Yeah. i play an Agumon and just call it a day. Oh, okay. He's going to do that. All right. I guess maybe at the start of his turn, he can just probably move up. Yeah. So at the start of his turn, he's going to move up the Pata. He's going to transform into a level four whatever. TK is going to give it extra memory and then just turn those Marcuses live. So, it doesn't look good for Pete right now. I think due to his rough early game, he what, he's my, he's not going to be able to stop a barrage of Marcus's punching his face. Huh? Yeah, it's going to it's going to be a hard one right here. Yes. Uh, unless for some miracle, the last card he's going to check is Holy Flame. Okay. But he's going to play Marae. Okay. I was going to say the one thing I, that could help him here is a Kyrie. Yeah, Kyrie uh, because he still needs to pay the memory for everything. Yeah, but he'll gain. So, one. He just needs. He just needs to animate two of the Marcus, and he'll get one memory, and then he just wins. Yep. Yep. Level four. We draw and then shuffle. shuffle and then... Recover one. Gain enough memory to animate. He has enough memory actually in general to animate all the Marcuses. Uh, how many Kyries are left? Because if that's second... One. Oh, one? Yeah, then he should be able to animate all the... Because he's going to gain one memory, and then that'll put him to one, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, then this is not that bad. Yeah, then animate yeah, the Marcus. Yeah, going to set him to five, and, yeah, then and then that's enough memory to just animate all three Marcus. Yeah. Go to two. And now it doesn't matter what... Ha yep. Now it doesn't matter what happens, unless that card is Holy Flame. 
Is he playing Holy Flame? Because that's kind of nuts. If it's Holy Flame, then I think it's good. But let's see. Oh, <laughs> just completely negate the Kyrie. And... Uh, yeah. Yep. Was not Holy all right, Flame. All right. Shine Greymon did it. That was a very cool Shine Greymon match. Yeah. I just wasn't agreeing with the Mega Evos, but I mean, it worked out. So I it, guess did, it, it did. It did work out. Right. It did work out. I think it's very interesting yeah. because I'm very curious to know if he's just playing the the Shine Greymon Megas, or does he have Seraphimon on there? Because that's another card that would be very good in this one. Yeah, yeah. I can. Um, the vaccine, the vaccine archetype is very, very, very huge. It has so many different variations where. Honestly, there you know, the core is the same, but your top end might vary. You have a lot of extra room for tech megas because of the Patamon, Messenger, Hope, and TK. So it's a lot more like there's a lot more variety in the archetype. Yeah. But, I'm curious, are they still maxed out on tamers? Like for for both markets, like BT13 and uh, uh, BT12. Um, maybe there's a dip. Maybe in, like, the Memory Tamer, Marcus, because you are trying to also play, like, maybe two TKs. You're playing four BT-12, Marcus, always. Like, that's a definite. Yeah, so I yeah, guess yeah. The change is, I guess the change is Memory Tamer, Marcus. Honestly, now looking at this ban list, uh, they did a great job hitting uh, hitting the Geo Grey bomb. Oh, yeah, no, Geo Grey spamming uh, Marcus and TKs for free? Ew. It's just it's just disgusting, right? Because it's like, okay, go in security, go get Geo Greymon. Go, Geo Greymon evolves for free, now plays a Tamer for free. And, <laughs> and then the TK will do its thing, you know, or whatever. And then you just evolve into your next guy, right? Like, it's so sick. You'll grab your you, Tamer yeah. from the top, go into your ultimate, tap, play, gain, the two, gain a memory. It's so sick. Yeah, I, honestly, the ban list, the Geo Grey hit was very good because I think they saw, like, Vaccine was able to just have so many different combo lines with the Tamers they can choose, and it's just, like, they're all good. Like, you have BT14 TK, BT1 TK, and, of course, your Marcuses. So it's like, yeah, like, there's a lot of choices. There's a lot going on there, man. Like, it's cool. It's very cool. I'm very happy with this. Uh, that was a very fun deck to look at. All right, let's see. Obviously, security control is going to go second. All right, ah, uh, that's not the Agumon you want to start with, but, you know, at least you get a rookie. Yeah, sometimes you just eat it. Like, yeah. you play 40s for a reason. Like, you do. Um, so, if it's your first rookie, it's not a big deal. Okay, we're just going to go to champion pass turn. Uh, Pete did have a slow start last game. Let's see what happens now. Oh, no. Nope. A better start now. What? Yep. I think if Pete's security was... Well, that's the thing. Pete actually didn't recover that much, actually, in that last game. He recovered the total, I think, four times? Yeah, that's very low. Yeah, because it was the Magna Angemon, the Magna Angemon Ace, the Salomon, and then I think a Holy Wave. Yeah. That's a lot. That's actually a low amount of recovery for a uh, vaccine second deck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he just played it, plays the Marcus. Okay, fry it. That's going to be minus five on the Magna. Or is that the which odds? Oh, no, that's the no, one. No, it's, it's the draw. It's the draw. Okay. It's the draw. So just minus two for now. Or minus, no, it's three. minus three. Minus it's three minus for three. now. So Magna sitting at rookie levels of DP. Let's see what he's going to do next. If he can fry that Magna, that's that's a good thing for him, but also a good thing for Pete because now his health size now have value. It's okay, just, we're gonna go to Rise. Guys, he's also playing Flame Hellsife too. God, that's just he, there's just so much room in that. There's like no room in this deck for anything. Does he even play? Oh, and then he just uh, used the Magna uh, Angemon to no, he's using the Magna Angemon to fry it. I I guess. Yeah, I think I get what he was saying. I think I understand because, like, think about what comes out next. If it's Shadow Seraphimon or something like that, then he's just in for a hard game. Yep. I think, I think, uh, you know how, like, oh, Chaos we're going to have Chaos of Grave come down for four. Okay, and then that's going to leave him. Let's see what he's targeting. I assume, oh. oh. Okay, that's he's leaving. Uh, he's leaving the Magna alone. I, well, I guess Magna himself is not really, you know. Ooh, we burn a Marcus. That's, that's not really bad. good, actually. 
I mean, so, I said, maybe from... Ace alone makes sense here, I think. I would just run with it. Uh, yeah, I don't think you want to evil on top of that. You just swing with it. If you get four memory, sure, whatever. Yeah, because look how like, much memory he's got backwards. right now. You know, it's like, it's insane. Yeah. Did you find yourself on playing aces more or trying to blast evo? Uh, I play Zudamon, so like every time, uh, it's always a blast. It blasts ace. Gotcha. I almost never it's drop very... him. Hmm. I think Magnet, you can make a discussion point to drop or blast Evo. No, I mean, I mean, honestly, if you go first and you do weird things, no, like he does not recover, he does just draw. Okay, yeah, he's not TK, he doesn't recover. Have TK. Um, the yeah. Interesting part about the Zudamon, um, or Magna, I guess. Well, Zudamon's great because let's say for those weird people who like play rookie champion ultimate out front because they want to get the most value out of like their search cards, you just play a Zudamon yeah. on the clapback and you return to level five. So, I like yeah. that. Um, another, you know, like, I don't know. I, I play a lot of defensive cards when they're attacking to make sure that the Zudamon Blast Ace is more effective, too. Yeah. So I don't know if you like, can do uh, that with Angemon. That's that's the other thing, too. I think Angemon is probably the ace where you use half and half. Because he's technically a 4-drop, potentially minus 6k, which is yes. pretty good. Yeah. No, it is. It's, worst... it's truly amazing. And then if you play the yeah. the jamming ones, like, you're, oh, this is where... I think this is going to be the turn that kind of matters. I mean, it should be a blast mode. Burst mode, yeah, right? Yeah, I would because always do burst Shagri's mode. Because not really do anything at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to do burst mode. No, he's just going to swing. Okay, I don't like that. Let's see what he hits. If you were going to do all that stuff, I was always... Well, it's minus three. Whatever. Uh, okay, five. Gamma doesn't do anything. Go to zero. Do we risk it? I, 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 guess I so, would. Right? I would. I, I don't see a reason in not doing it, right? Like, like yeah, just just go for it. Let's see. Death nice. axe. All right, we Death, pass, pass four. A three. No, pass a three. Pass a three. Oh, pass three. My God. Yeah. I think I need to remember these ace numbers. No, well, just think of it like that. Level fives are three, level sixes are four. are fours. Yeah. And then level sevens are five. <laughs> oh, they are, right? That's sick, level seven. Oh, my God. They're moving so fast that I, I am trying to change the security. Um, oh, what did you do, long? That? Yeah, I know. Uh, back to five. So we fried the shy gray. We're starting over again, which is not the worst thing. We still have a healthy number of cards. We only saw one mega so far, so not entirely bad. We chipped down the four life, which is again not bad. Um, the question is, can he keep that momentum? That's the thing about security control, like the matchup. It's all about keeping that momentum with your damage. Eh? Yeah, no, but the problem with that. So the problem with the shine gray. My, oh, okay. I guess he's okay. Just, okay, no, do your thing. I think the issue is is that he doesn't have the Marcus because in in these kind of matchups, all you got to do, like we just saw last game, right? He just played the crazy amount of of a crazy amount of um. Wait, was that enough to kill him? How much security does he have? He has five. Okay, he's just five okay, now. Yep. Five now. Oh, we are definitely finding what we need. The question is, are they there or in security? Oh, uh, that's that's the question. Okay, he's got the burst mode that he needed last last set. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Do you just free Evo? I wouldn't. I think the answer is yeah. Does he oh, have the right I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna he's gonna play his level three, and then yeah, he's gonna play that, then play the other Marcus, and then just retain turn. No, no, he's not gonna retain turn. Why? No, if he plays because it's going to be minus two, minus four, and then he has to play the new mar the the five cost Marcus. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But let's see. Let's see. Is it? Nope. Uh, okay, I don't like that then. If that's not what you're doing, because um, you're giving up a lot of level fives, but yeah, he. I think. I mean, he did pick up another one, I believe. So. But yeah. then again, you're but again. We gotta remember this is a resource match now. Like you need to be very, because you need to be very uh, mindful of your lineups, because if you run out of a lot of a part of the line, then you're not really gonna evo up. Yeah, but we he's got the burst mode, so if he can do it next turn, I think he'll be in a good spot. Oh yeah, I agree. But the problem is problem he's not gonna gain enough memory that the Kyrie's gonna nullify what he does. That's what sucks. Yeah. 
So that's going to be a big part of it. So he needs to Evo. I think I think if he thought ahead, if he plays the Marcus, uh, right, he'll gain the memory, move the Marcus up, go into his level his level five. Hard, you know, it'll play the five cost Marcus, and then that nullifies the that nullifies the Kyrie. Zap it. Yeah, he's just gonna, which is fine. That's okay, right? Because all he has to do right now, if he has the BT thirteen Rise Greymon, he's okay, right? Because he'll gain the memory, move the Marcus up, yeah. uh, evolve into the five cost Marcus, right? Sorry, the the sorry, did you evolve into the BT thirteen Rise Greymon? Have it play the Marcus with five costs, gain the one memory. Now the Kyrie is nullified. Yeah, so we're gonna go into Rise Gray. So he has his draw terribles right now. So the Magna Ace is a little bit safe. Yeah, he's gonna get the memory. Okay, mm. no, it's dead now. It's gone. It's gone. It's gonna be no, no. Those are draws. Oh, they're both draws. Okay, so he lost four right now. So, and that Magna Ace is six or is he eight? Eight. Oh, God, such a thick boy. Okay, so he's swinging. Yeah, so there should be a shine. Yeah, we're now going to zap it. This is going to this is gonna be a huge... So he's going to get three memory back. So what's he going to go back to? He's going to yep. go back to like six? Yep, six. So if it survives... Oh, Flame Health Sap. That's okay. Oh, and there's a back then there. No, but it's not the end of the world because now... now I mean, yeah, this is a little disappointing. Or I guess not disappointing, but like, you know... It's doing its job. Dude, oh, does he, is he just going to have to get the, the ace one? Is that the only one he's got in no, his no, trash? No, no, he has, he has regular Magna. He played with remember, and it got zapped. Oh, okay. Oh, is he going to try to do the Gatamon? Isn't Gatamon a blocker if it's Digimon? Okay, yeah, okay. He's gonna uh, be blocker if you have a purple on field. Okay. I forgot how the recovery works on her, though. Uh, I think you're, if you're under three. Okay. Hit here. Okay, yeah, sure, Kamer. whatever. That, no, that, that's perfectly fine, because now... Now, wait, isn't the Marcus dead? Shouldn't the Marcus be dead? Uh, I don't know what he might us. Uh, it's got to be the Shine Greymon. I would go into burst mode immediately. I'm not even playing. <laughs> I think, I, he, I, get, I would agree with that because, again, it's a DP. You need to maintain your DPS speed. And there we go. We're going to go into that. Bounce. Play. Now, let's see what this burn is. Okay. If it's a removal spell, I think the game is going to really shift over to Shine Gray. Well, it's going to trash. It's going to trash the first one, so eat that. Yep. Yep. What is it? Yeah. And it's a monster. No, it's oh, a no, it's Chaos, Chaos the Gray. The gray. That sucks. Flame oh. Hellside. Okay. No, no. Uh -oh. This is... So oh, I think... now you can bring back Gato to recover one. To recover. Now he's able to avoid the, he's able to avoid the, the ace, which is fine. Yep. To be honest with you, you know what I would have done here? I would have, if I was going to do burst mode, I would have summoned Agumon and then burst mode and play down the other Marcus, then swing to Evo the, the Agumon. Yeah. That's that's what I think I would have done there because there's no reason to bring out the, the Marcus if you can't kill, like to suspend that Marcus if you can't kill the Magna. So now what do we do? I would just, see, that's the thing, right? Like if he would have gotten the Agumon, I think he could have gotten to another Mega. So, P's at two life, right? Yes, it looks like two. Two security. Oh, we're going to hybrid? We're just oh. going to kill Magna. Oh, I see, we? I see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a bad, that's not a bad one. Oh, this is even more reason. He should have played the Agumon way oh, before Oh, wait, that. wait, what? He didn't kill Magna? He didn't, kill, he didn't want to kill Magna? Is he going to drop an object card? Oh my god, I think he would have had game. Because if he would have summoned that Agumon, brought the Marcus up, then evolved into Greymon for free, evolved into Greymon for free, evolved into the BT-13 one, played another Tamer or whatever, and then yep. gone into the BT-13 uh, uh, Shine Greymon to bring the last Marcus up, and then it would have put him at zero. Mm. I know it's a lot going on, but, like, I mean, these are, like, real plays, right? Like, I mean, yeah, they are. Now... We're at P's at one life. We have four Marcuses, an ultimate, and a shy gray on the field. And he put him to one memory, and he's going to just go to two. This was a disgusting turn. Hey, why is it dead? Uh, I'm not sure. Why is it dead? Why is it dead? I don't know what happened. 
Oh, you hit it with either. double flame health sight. That's what it was. Oh, so when the evil ends, it went back to 12k that is yep, dead. And oh. then Friday. That was that's not a bad play because now what that does what that does is now it leaves one monster on board. The question is, can Solid die to something? Uh I would just I mean it has to run into security and hope it dies. Yeah, I think we have to do that. We yeah. do get the draw, which is good. If the next rookie's Patamon and there's a Greymon in security, I, I think um I think the game's gonna be over the same way it was in the first uh, the first factor. Yeah. I don't see a reason if he can't turn the magnet into an omega, I don't see a reason why he wouldn't swing so he can get the extra memory. So Rafibon would be really good right now. Yeah. Or Kazuchimon actually. That's assuming he plays it, right? Like that's the thing. Yeah, I mean I would because I love Kazuchibon. No, I mean honestly this kind of deck, Venus Mon's like the way to go, you know. Um Oh Venus Mon too. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. That's awkward. That's really awkward. Yeah, swing with Gato. Okay. Oh, Shangri Mon. That's Gato Shangri dies. Mon. Okay. Well, at least if Sala dies randomly, it's gonna recover one. Okay. It seems like Shine Greymon's running out of resources, so this is gonna be probably um, their last turn. Yeah. Question is, can Pete last that long? That's I think so because he doesn't have anything at raising. He has to kill the Rise Greymon. If he doesn't, then the game's over. Is that Kintoro oh. Swan? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, what? What is he, what is he gonna? Put is he gonna put the option card that says like you know like if it's trash or whatever? Because that would be a really good one to hit. Well, he won't be able to keep turn, right? No, it doesn't matter. If he puts that there, then that buys him another turn. Because that means you can also put chaos. Gonna... You can also put chaos the grave to there. Oh no! Oh, oh he do... no. oh he can't keep turn. Oh, because you gain two memory. That's right, and then it should be enough to fry it, right? Because he uh, fries seven. I think he yes, fries seven thousand. Yes, it's Yep, it's seven k. Yep. So we're gonna check security. Hit Agu. And then make oh, we're just cheaper. gonna yeah, we're gonna tap the Kai card to make sure it has jamming. Swap. TK. Oh, he only he only has one. Does not left. no no not. Oh wait, it does have odd. Play. Now he has to put something back. I forgot the odd play is whatever. My God, I don't remember these cards that well because I read them like once or twice. Okay, we're just gonna put a casually. I, I just don't think he has there. another card. That's all it really comes down to. Okay, um, he, so I think the only thing he could have done here, honestly, um, is if he put like a, a, a like an ultimate in there and then played a rookie. Gotten rid of the memory, the, the the training boost, and then activate the emissary, whatever that one spell, that one cost option card. Yeah. Get the ultimate, have the ultimate play something, and then just try to work from there. So now what? He has to kill both monsters. Actually, no, he just has to kill one. Just yeah, just like Kentaurus. No, just honestly, he Kentaurus. can just kill the Salomon, whatever. I mean, he's only got one security, right? So if he's got another line, Salomon's a lot easier to kill. Yeah. I would try to go if he's ran through so much of his Well, oh Kentaurus has well Kentaurus has a restand, remember? Oh yes, 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 he has to kill Kentaurus, okay. Yeah. Then I would just play a rookie and then play that, that huge spell card if he can. What's that? Oh What's that? wait, no, can was Kentaurus DP? Thirteen? Thirteen? Yeah, so he plays the option card, it'll do twelve and then drop the Marcus. Drop the Marcus to gain no memory, so whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and play that, and then Kentaurus is dead. Yeah, Kentaurus is dead. That's 15. Okay, then Sal would try to recover one. Yeah. Honestly, and... if, this was your, if this was his last turn, I would have just went into a champion and then used the option Oh, card. wait. Sal's not dead? No, 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 because he had to use both cards to kill the Kentaurus mark. Kentaurus is 13. But he suspended Marcus. Yeah, so that option card only subtracts... Oh, it was only minus 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fucking he minus 12. Yeah, yeah, so he's both. Oh well, slam that Sala into that freaking thing and gain a gain a life. Honestly, Boop. what I would have done, I would have tried to put a, uh, I would have, I would have gone into an ultimate and then just, just use the card and then so that way it's easier to go up. You see, Magna. oh oh yep, Magna recover That's three. one. 
Well, he's used a lot of. I think he got rid of two cast of grades and three longs. See, that's so the card. Rocky. That's the card it, that you want to avoid. Now it gets. Now it gets tricky. Yep, that's the card you wanted to avoid. All righty. I think the game's gonna. He only, wait, he only has two. Oh, he only has two of the guy, of the guy. Of which guy? Uh, BT twelve Marcus. Oh yeah, which is fine, right? Like it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Um. When yeah, he, the tricky part here is he needs to be very mindful of his evil line now because that Seraphi is going to trigger. If, I think if he just goes into BT12, I think he's going to be fine. Just kill the Seraphi. Seraphi can only minus something by three or four, right? I think it's four. It's four, then it doesn't matter at that point, right? Because like, he can't kill any of the Marcus. Assuming he has a BT12 and assuming he can get into one, you know? Because I, I, I don't think he can. Because he's going to swing. It's going to D-Digivolve. He's going to D-Digivolve. Yeah. It's going to D-Digivolve. So it's going to be stuck in whatever, like... Honestly, it might not Digimon be that bad. you have right now. If he has two level fives, he might be okay. Yeah. That's the question. Does he have two level fives yeah. at this point? No, I think he needs three level fives. That's the crazy part about it. Yeah, gain the one memory. Draw. Gain one memory. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh... Swing. Hit thing. If this is a destruction card, just pack it up. Okay, dead. But he recovers. Oh no, no, no. he'll. Uh, he did Digivolve first. Wait, no. What happens? Is yes, he... he Digivolve first. Then the battle. Okay, so that now Marcus gone. dies. Doesn't okay. recover. Lose two memory to Kyrie. Okay, swing again. Try to get another level five. Yeah, he'd see what I'm talking about? If he was a champion last turn, this would have been a lot easier. Yeah. Yep, go again, gain a memory, but I don't think it's going to do much. It's not going to matter. The game's going to be over. Yeah, chip. This is one of those things that I'm always talking Crimson about. Crimson Blaze. So right, DJ Javon and both kills. things. Yeah, they're both dead. Oh, but Crimson Blaze gives them the... Gives them Wait, the, how? What? Because it, uh, because option cards. Oh, wait, no, option cards happened first. Yeah, yeah, yeah option yeah. cards happened first. Okay, so Geo Greymon's good. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, Just hit it, right? I, uh, it doesn't, Pillowmon's Pillowmon, in the back, so it may not matter. That's oh, yeah, that's true. If it was just a Rafimon, I would just hit it and then try to, like, play a rookie or something. I don't know. I, it's, it's looking like security control's gonna take this one. Yeah. I don't know what China can, can do. He can't retain turn by any means. No. Like, even suspending the TK to gain even the extra money with that Marcus went up is not enough. It can't. You can't summon the Agu. The hybrid swing doesn't matter. Like, there's no... I don't think there's a way at this moment to get, like, enough memory to clear that last life and go for game. No, there, there really isn't. It really isn't. Well, unless he ha unless he wants to swing with that Geo Gray and then go into a hybrid, which but I don't think he doesn't have a memory. The Kyrie, the second Kyrie. No, no, no. So what you do? Remember TK? Uh, Marcus went back to life. TK can be suspended to gain a memory, putting him at two. Oh, the swing with Geo Gray, go with hybrid. But I don't think they play a hybrid. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, the game's over. Yeah, just swing, swing. You should have just taken the extra memory, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to matter. All right, security control, yeah. move up. We already know this is a Marcus. So, Seraphimon's wow. going to swing. And then... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, I, I, yeah. Doesn't matter. So just good. Just good. Ha yeah. Just good habits. Just good habits. But yeah, it was game over. Well, One, remember, two, three, eight, four, five, six, seven cards left. I believe five, six. Yeah, whatever. it's it's very interesting because I I really do believe if he would have went to a champion and then did whatever final shining burst, if he would have done that, then I think he he would have had it because he would have went into a champion I mean, and those two D digivolves that he had wouldn't have been as as devastating. Yeah, like. 
I guess he wasn't. Maybe he thought he didn't have Shadow Serafi. That's my only guess. That's my only guess. No, no, I meant for the but, Shy Greymon. Like, I wouldn't have cared about that. I would have just killed it anyway and leave it alone. You know, like I wouldn't have. I don't know. That's just I mean, I you do done. that play. You do that play in your mind. You do that play that you just say if you were anticipating a Shadow Serafi. Right? No, I was no, no, no. Just in my mind because that was going to be your last turn. So you want to be able to get into your Mega, and there's only so much recovery he can do with that. So let's say if he recovers twice, right? It's from putting him to five. Or to put him to seven doesn't make that big of a difference because he's still going to only be able to recover twice at max, right? So that's yeah. what I'm trying to deal with, right? Because he's going to put me to three no matter what. I just want to make sure that when he when he recovers, I want to be able to deal with it. That's true. And the only way you can deal with it is unless you have a mega. Yeah. That 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 was it. So even if Shadow Serafi mod came out, you swing with one Marcus, you minus the Shadow Serafi, whatever, kill it. You'll kill it on the first one, right? So that Marcus is still alive. The, the second one's still going to be alive. Uh, he wouldn't have enough to kill Shine Greymon. That's the other thing as well. Remember that. He wouldn't have to, shine, to kill the Shine Greymon. And you saw it. The first Marcus died to Wisemon. The second one died to, to Crimson Blaze. If he did the Shine Greymon, they would have all been minus. That all would have been minus. So the first Marcus would have survived, and it would hit Crimson Blaze. That would have blew up both Marcus. You'd recover, right? You'd recover at least one Marcus, and then you go into your burst mode to trash the next one. The next one, then Actually, you have game. Sorry to disrupt you. I think this is just Secon. Oh, is that what we're thinking? I think so. Jesus. We can confirm, but. I haven't seen one Panamon or Angemon. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're... I know, I, I had that same question, too. Like, Ooh. I know they don't play that many Digimon, but we should have seen at least one by yeah. now, right? Yeah, 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 no, no, you are right about that. Do you see what I'm talking about here? How he played the Agumon? How he played the Agumon out front and nothing in back? If he mm. does if he does his champion here... Okay, so he's putting the rookie there. If he would have done a champion there to play a Marcus, you drop Zudomon on him. And then mm. now they're a turn behind. Yeah, yeah. I think I think in terms of like aces, I think it goes Magna, Zudo, Lillian, uh, Metal Grey Mod. Yeah, we get the rest of them later, right? In the next set, BT fifteen, I think. Uh, we get the yeah, we get Kabuteri. Oh no, not Kabuteri. No, we do get Kabuteri. Not not in BT five and fifteen. We do get Kabuteri. No, no, no. The name it's not Kabuteri exactly. The level five is called differently. Uh, isn't it? Uh, it's not. It's not uh, Hercules. Not Hercules. Hercu mega? No, Hercules and Mega. Hercules yeah. and Mega. I forgot. Uh, you know what sucks about Tetobot's line? The names get so long. I just forget them all the time. No, I thought it was Mega Kabuterimon and Hercules Kabuterimon. Okay, there so we go. Mega, mega Kabuterimon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank okay, you. so what? he's gonna move over. Okay. Looks like we're champion rushing. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know how I feel about this one, but. <laughs> Golden, golden boy. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Excuse me. That card's nice. Honestly, if you just got that guy in the back, I'm just going to swing. Yeah. I swing with both champions. There's no reason in my mind not to swing with them. Because he has no rookie in the back. Well, yeah, no rookie in the back. And you should say, uh, okay. This is going to kill the Magna Angemon if he plays uh, the five cost Marcus. And that's what he's going to need. Nope, never mind. He's nope, gonna... nope. Magna lives. Yep. Because he would have dropped the Marcus, that's three, and then he has two of the Agumons, uh, the BT-12 ones, the better uh, Agumon with gloves. Shadow Seraphim, uh -oh. go to one. He has well, to play. Well, better spot now, right? Because you're at ultimate. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd move up the Agumon in the back, animate one of the Marcus off of his effect, and then I would uh, play the other one, go to zero, and then just go off. I'd, I'd ruin that Shadow Seraphimon. I think he's not he's, moving Agu. Yeah, I, I would move the Agu. There's no question in my mind about moving the Agu because that's one free Marcus you can move up. And he has no purple cards for the clapback, so it has to be Lunk uh, that he kills your guys with. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless he's hesitant about giving a tamer, no, but that doesn't make oh, sense. He doesn't, have oh, mega. Oh. he doesn't have his mega. Why would you not move the Marcus up though? You can get a lot of chip damage here. Uh, boop. 
Okay. Lament, nothing to grab. Yeah. So that was a mech card. But we do need to drop something. Yeah. We did evolve the ultimate. I don't understand why he didn't why he didn't bring up the Agumon. That would have been six swings, right? One, two, three, four, five, five swings. Yeah. But he's just swinging with champions. What, what is he? What is he doing here? Salah. Did you evolve the Geo Greymon? Uh, honestly, you want to, it- um, yeah, that's the right one because you want him to draw as much as possible with his deck. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? What? Oh, 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 no, no, no. So if it's a Digimon check, remember, it's Digimon Dead Battle. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Option cards are first, yeah. Yeah, option cards are, like, yeah. So if option cards are checked, the option triggers first. If a Digimon is checked, it affects Dead Battle. Yeah. I think this uh, this was not it. I think this is going to be. Off of this turn I think... alone, I really do think uh, security control is like going to be the one that wins. You know, I think Sunrise Buster. Okay, that's three six nine. Uh, that twelve. Yeah, twelve. That's gonna kill Shadow Seraphi, and then it's just gonna melt. It kills the. It just kills the Digimon. I don't right? understand that. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna kill it because now Shadow Seraphi is gonna recover one, right? Yeah, I didn't just destroy that champion. Yeah, I don't like that because he could have brought the Agu up. Swing, swing, whatever. D did you evolve? Whatever you're gonna do, D did you evolve? And then just keep swinging with the little guys. Now you can't D did you evolve me? I don't know, bro. I would have done that line of play because that's five damage, and that security did not look very scary based on what we saw. Yeah. That was an odd decision. Yeah, I mean the Agumon was definitely a free Evo. Unless he wants to save it? I don't know. Okay, Wise Mon. Wise He's going to deal Mon. with another, another Shadow Seraphi. I'm going to tell you that much. If he doesn't kill that right now... Well, we pick up that, and now Pete can manipulate the top cards on his deck so that if he does hit a recovery spell, he knows what he's going to recover into. He does have a Magnet there now, so Hellside's very good. Lonk is also very good to just destroy anything. He's going to leave the Hell Sight on top, so if he does hit a recovery, he knows his Hell Sight, and then Hell Sight will be hit, and then Magna will cover back. So. Okay, pay Let's one. Let's see. Yeah, just pay one. Then, the other. Pay t- then pay for free. So we have three damage now. We're going to do uh, physical. Okay, not really sure about this one. Grab the Geo Cray. Swing with Marcus. Go to a level four for free. Yep. All right, minus one on Wisemon, I guess. No, those are blows up. Oh yeah, minus one for the egg. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Marcus dies. I guess. Yeah. Do you just not have a chance? Swing with Marcus again. Okay. For the Evo, and then just play the other Marcus, and then just delete the wise one? Can you delete the wise one? Uh, now he can. Yeah, unless those four. were already used up. Oh, no. Yeah, it's going to kill it. It's going to kill it. It's going to kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless those things. Do they register like that? Okay. Avenge uh, Kid Mon. That's fine. Recover. <laughs> That's going to be 6 versus 3 or 6 versus 2? What is that? I thought you can't use the Agu again from the first Marcus. No, it would have it it been... It would have been... Uh, oh, yeah, maybe. Actually, I don't know. I don't think... I think that was a misplay. Unless I was wrong. We could clarify with Pete yeah. or something. But I think the Agu oh, effect was already, quote-unquote, used up and it missed. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like Duramon or whatever. Duramon? Dur... Okay. I think I know who you're talking about, yeah. Um, it's the one that goes on their Alpha Mon that gives the memory. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I don't remember. Man, but, I no, because if you have a Gazimon on board and you put something underneath it, the Durimon gets used up. So, no BT12 Marcus right now. There are, one is security, one is in the trash. It, it, so. this, is, this is a rough one because he's at two security. So, Lonk isn't going to be enough. 
Because it's going to clear him. And then he's got training boost, right? So what does he do here? Is he does he just does he just play the Mag- Magna Ace? I think Magna I think Magna Ace zap the Agu because you only have he only has B thirteen Marcus. Okay, he's or just Holy gonna wave. Holy Wave, okay. Oh he oh he he recovered into Lunk. Oh. But this is interesting because if he knows that, if he knows that, I would go right into burst mode. That's the thing right there. If Shine remembers, yeah. Yeah, I would go right into burst mode, crash it, because the game's over at that point. Because, uh, yeah, evolve into that, then go right into burst mode. Don't even, don't even play with it. Just go right into burst mode. Go right into burst mode, and if he can play another Marcus, the the BT twelve one, so that way he can free evil the Agu. Yeah, okay. He's going to go into burst mode. Well, that comes yep. from one. He knows it's long. I, I think he remembers it's long. Cause... Yeah. Alex is pretty good about those things, so I'm not even going to be mad at that. Yeah, yeah. okay. He played the right markers. That's what I'm talking about. All right, trash the first one. But the second card may be another long or chaos or grade. Yeah. But you know what's the interesting part about it? Uh, he still might lose this because if he plays the BT-13 Agumon, like he swings with these guys and then just plays the BT-13 Agumon, yeah, chaos uh, No, 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 it's fine, it's ouch. fine, it's fine. It's not that bad, right? Put it on top. Swing with the Geo Greymon. If it's that Holy Flame, you drop a BT-13 Agumon, animate the last mark and swing for game. Oh, oh, well, that's true, yeah. Oop. Oh, Psychmon, garbage. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Right on the money. Right You're good money. at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right on the money. All right. You're good at this. Security control. Security control. Yeah, take that you one. know, if he had the vaccine stuff, he kind of at least like done minus stuff from Anjamon. Yeah. Like he doesn't get the virus shit or whatever, but at least just minus stuff and get a recovery out of it, so you know what's there. Yeah, but there's also know, that he loves the security control from Planet for. Yep, Three traditional years. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traditional one. 